Hey guys, it's Monday and actually kind of late, and my camera is out of batteries, which everyone knows is freaking awesome, so I'm here on my webcam. I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of background information about Brown vs. Board of Education, which is actually the umbrella term for five trials that occurred in the 50s and were crucial to the civil rights movement. So, Brown vs. Board of Education was centrally about the doctrine of separate but equal, and more specifically getting rid of it. Separate but equal is exactly what it sounded like, in that it required that accommodations for white and colored people be separate, but they had to be equal too. The problem was not with the separate. The problem was with the equal. There was no issue with separating schools and barber shops and restaurants and train cars and all sorts of stuff. The problem was with the equal. I think the best example of this is when you look at schools. Back in the day, when the white school got new textbooks, the black school got the old ones. So it's pretty obvious the white school is going to have better materials since they get them first. So the NAACP at the time was looking for cases that could prove their point that separate but equal was not fair to anyone. And they saw that this, along with some other education-based cases, would be good to take on and prove that separate but equal was not equal. The problem that they were facing here was that the Supreme Court had supported separate but equal seven times in the past. So they were fighting an uphill, uphill battle because of this thing, thing called stare decisis, which makes it so decisions in the past kind of decide cases now. This is called establishing a precedent, and it creates kind of a more equal experience, regardless of judges, because they kind of have to listen to precedent. So there's this guy named Thurgood Marshall who works as an attorney for the NAACP, and he was involved in, I think, three or four of these cases. And all five of the Brown versus Board cases were won by the NAACP. And in the end, the order from the Supreme Court was that schools had to be integrated with all deliberate speed, and that schools had to abide by the 14th Amendment, which promised equal protection under the law for all citizens. So Brown vs. Board pretty much promised an equal education to everyone, and this is all going to become pertinent next week, and I will see you next Monday.